Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on a new episode of Hibiki Euphonium 2, or you can call it Sound Euphonium 2, which is on episode 3. Now, this episode right here, it seems like it reveals certain drama behind the scenes of what's been going on with certain characters. So, if anything else, like, um, I'll try, I'll do the best I can to, like, um, keep it in an organized manner, but if I get disorganized, please forgive me. Well, after a certain opening and so forth, it seems like the entire band and everyone else is practicing really greatly. Of course, there is some certain criticism, especially when there's there's one on, let me see here, Yorosuke Mizori Senpai, because apparently we have to it that the guy is really kind of concerned about, like, um, Mizori, like, being such a robot and not having any expression or something, and I go like, yeah, I can understand there might be certain things here and there, but I guess some things you just can't change, you know? And of course, after a bath and dinner, we have to it that um, Kumiko decides to ask Asuka Senpai, like, yo, why won't you allow, um, let me see here, Nozomi to come into, like, um, or come back to the band, you know? And therefore, she tried to tell her, to tell her, you should never have asked me this kind of question. Are you really that um, concerned about it? It's going to haunt you later. And therefore, like, um, we had to it that um, Kumiko guessed about like a maybe it'll cause a confusion. She came back or something, since she's really good. But she says, "Nah, that's not the point. Nice try, but you're totally wrong. But if I tell you, you're gonna be miserable. Are you okay with that?" And Kumiko says, "Bring it on." In other cases, not in like um, okay, bring it on, bring it on, or just that kind of stance or saying. But go ahead, tell me what's the worst part. We have to it that um, Mizori Yorozuka, which is involved, it seems like um, it seems like we have to it that uh, she can't stand um, Nozomi, Nozomi, Nozomi at all. It seems like um, she has some kind of trauma with her, whatever it is involved. I don't know what the case is, but one thing for sure, it's like um, Nozomi, Nozomi can't be very comfortable with no, with Missouri or Missouri's not comfortable with Nozomi at all. It seems like she has some kind of trouble or something. It's like um she says Missouri Chan can't play the Obe with you around, but I don't know, that kind of thing, so don't come back and so forth. That's the reason why she didn't want to like um say that. So we have to it that if Missouri Chan went down now or something, then the Kansai would be the least out of our worries or something. So it seems like to me, Asuka will not allow, like, um, maybe Nozomi to come back because, like, um, of what the drama has been going on. Maybe, like, um, involving that, involving that Mizori cannot stand Nozomi for some reason, and we have to it that Nozomi thought, like, um, they're still best friends, but that's not really the case. We also have to it that Reyna does decide to ask, um, Tak Sensei or something like that if he is dating um what's her name Niyama but apparently Niyama is married and so forth in the end here and there and it seems like Rainer must be relieved about that but of course Kumiko is told by like um told by Hashimoto Sensei that Taki's wife died like five years ago and that's when everything's starting to fall apart on on his world you know and is really sad so, it seems like to me Tak Sensei is not the only one having drama. I mean, like, um, I thought the students alone has their own drama involved, but it seems like Tak Sensei losing his wife and so forth, though we don't really know how he lost his wife. Either it might be an accident, death, or a disease, we don't know. But he lost his wife five years ago, and he's not really himself back then. Of course, there's a couple scenes with, like, um, Natsuki, along with like, um, what's the other girl? I think, um, Yuko Senpai, or whatever her name is, yada yada yada. It seems like there's like some issues here and there, and we have to it that Yuko talks to Kumiko for a bit and asked her, ask, um, ask Kumiko, like, um, do you hate me? She goes, like, I don't hate you, I just don't like you. She goes, like, yeah, but I'm not totally in the wrong, okay? I still think Kaori Senpai is still one of the people that should be able to play or something, you know? I'm thinking in my mind, yeah, 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 keep keep rocking like you're doing, you know? That kind of thing. And we have to it that, like, um, after Yumiko 
Kumiko and Yuko talk for a bit about certain drama that's been happening not to, and try not to tell Natsuki everything, you know, that kind of thing. It seems like there was something about like liking competition here and there. She says like when it comes to certain judges, you know, she, does, she doesn't like it. But when it comes to people like giving it all they got and going for the gold, then I guess she could like it and so forth. That's what the last few minutes of the episode was like. It's like, what do you think about competitions? And Reina says she likes to keep a positive note about it because of certain things here and there, you know? Next day, of course, like, Kumiko could not sleep but she, sleep at all, but she hears euphonium sounds from Asuka-senpai. It seems like there's a bunch of emotions piled up into one whole piece that she's playing, you know? At first, I thought she was playing some kind of, like, a national anthem song at the way how it sounded, and call me stupid if I think like that, but yeah, I am who I am, you know? My ears are crazed up a bit. But the way how Kumiko described it, it seems like she's, it seems like, um, certain things are just, like, um, becoming sad in that moment. So, I don't know what's bound to happen, but we'll have to find out next time. So, until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So, I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot.